lots to be too simply on a luckier. And today is the beginning of our first 5D's booster box battle between the Duelist Genesis and Crossroads of Chaos. And then I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for some more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. So I told you guys I'd be doing a few updates over the next coming weeks before we get into Summer Madness, which will start at the beginning of June, you guys. So be ready for that. It's going to be epic. It's going to be awesome. Of course, there's going to be daily content. But first, um, the first update I wanted to go over with you guys is posting videos in two parts. Uh, so I want to start by differentiating the two different types of openings for booster boxes, you guys. There's there's new booster box openings and there's nostalgic booster box openings. For all new booster box openings, when it's just a new cards and uh, we haven't seen them before, we're going to be reviewing them for the first time. I'll be doing that in one video. For the older boxes, the nostalgic box opening, you guys, I'll be splitting those into two parts. And it has nothing to do with money, and I'll, I'll get to that in a second. But it's everything to do with me creating daily content for you guys. I want to take my time with these openings. I want to enjoy them. I want to talk about the different effects and the way I've used the cards in the past and just everything. And even my collection, which I'll be talking about in an update over the next couple weeks too. And I want to add that to these different videos. And that would help with the different splitting into two different parts, you guys. And just to, just to help understand for those of you guys that think it's all about money. If everything was about money, I would be making videos every day with like six random packs because that's like the cheapest opening I could possibly do, right? Just grab just grab some random packs and I do a random pack opening if I wanted to have more videos for you guys. But it's not about the videos. It's not about making money. It's about the quality content. If I'm going to be creating daily content for you guys, which is what I want to do as a content creator, I want to upload the different content that I feel is the most enjoyable for me. And so that is splitting these classic nostalgic booster boxes, enjoying them to the max. Um, and yeah, just making epic videos for you guys with those. So once again, you guys, uh, two different types of box opening. New box openings and nostalgic box openings will be split into two parts. New box openings, still one part. And uh, yeah, it's not about the money, you guys. If I wanted, if, I was, if it was about the money, I'd be creating much more content with less quality videos. Okay, you guys, so let's get into this. So this will be a two-part opening, and also there'll be a two-part opening for the Crossroads of Chaos. We'll be doing the deck profile video. A lot of you guys have requested to have the deck profile video between the decks uh, posted. I'll, then, then we'll do the uh, booster box battle duel, which will be incredible. 5D's booster box battle, you guys. Here we go, the first part. So I guess technically it's more of a six-part event. And here we go. I'll be using Summon School, and thanks to our friends at Ultra Pro. Duelist Genesis, I'm super excited for this. We have our uh, green teal pro mat sleeves that we'll be using along with the Gurren Lagann play mat for this event, this epic 5Ds booster box battle. But yeah, look for the legendary ghost rares. And some quick information, you guys, about Duelist Genesis and Crossroads of Chaos. I believe, um, I've made comments about this in the past, but I just never really took the time to understand why. I don't believe the boxes came first edition. Um, I believe they were promoting the... First edition or the tins by putting first edition packs in the tins and this has now created the price of these packs to just skyrocket and like PSA graded cards you know from these first edition packs are also have also skyrocketed because there's a limited amount of them and uh, I just thought that was really interesting I didn't really realize I think the four sets the boxes weren't made first edition are Crossroads of Chaos, Duelist Genesis, um, SOVR I'm just not gonna remember the name right now along with uh, ANPR Ancient Prophecy um, but yes, so those four sets didn't come first edition. You have to buy the tins in order to find those first edition packs. So my goal, you guys, with some new collection videos is collecting first edition cards. And so we'll go over that, go over that more uh, as we get to the later parts of this month. But it's going to be us epic. It's going to be awesome, you guys. So be ready for that. So Duelist Genesis, here we go. Um, out of here, of course, we're wanting the Ghost Stardust. There is Emergency Teleport. There is Red Dragon Archfiend. There's the Secret Rares. Um, you have handed the Six Samurai Charge of the Light Brigade. A ton of awesome cards, you guys, so let's see what we can get. So for the first part, we'll be opening the right side. Alright, Goyo Guardians in here, Ultimate Rares. And truthfully, you guys, for the Booster Box Battle, for a 5D's Booster Box Battle, but it would be incredible if we could just pull the Stardust and the Black Rose. Doesn't matter what rarity, but so we have three, three different rarities we can pull them from. Ghost, Ultimate, and Ultra, so part of the cards guide us. Alright, Go No Go. Battle Tuned. Mecha Bunny, and this is actually one of the more valuable cards, or an interestingly valuable card in the set. When this card is flipped face up, select one card on the field and inflict 500 damage to its controller. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Mecha Bunny from your deck and face down defense position. I just thought, 
Interesting card people like to play around with, and it's got like, love it, on, the, on its face there. Uh, Domino Effect, a Maiden of Macabre, one of those Duel Links cards. And nice, an Ultra Nitro Warrior to start it off. I was like, man, that's a Synchro. Man, it's an Ultra. And it's a Nitro Warrior. But very cool. A uh, few people tried to make decks with this in the past. And it kind of worked putting Nitro Synchron in one of your decks. But at the same time, um, it just wasn't the best. <laughs> For Nitro Warrior's effect, you guys, like I said, was used a little bit. I believe he gains a 1,000 attack and then also... Once per turn, if it destroys opponent's monster with a battle, you can change a face-up defensive just monster you controls to attack. And then attack it with this card. So, double attacks there. Cool stuff like that. Made in Macabre. Kinoichi. Telepathic Power and Glider Beast a quest. One of the other more valuable common cards in this set is the Aquest that searches for your Glider Beast cards. Alright. We'll sleeve up our Nitro Warrior as our first foil here. And let's see what else we can get. Part of the cards guide us. Gear Town, the almighty ancient gear card. Very awesome. Kunoichi, Go No Go, Battle Tune, Grapple Blocker, Double Go No Go. Maybe we'll get a double uh, foil pack. Uh, then we have Battle Tunes to Silent Strider and Light Wave Tuning. Two Battle Tuned, two Go No Go's. I remember when Gear Town came out, it was people were like, oh man, Ancient Gear's coming back, but never really made it. We have Space Gate, Telekinetic Shocker, Gear Town again, Kanoichi, Telekinetic Charging Cell, a Light Sworn Saber Super Rare. This will be interesting for a booster box battle. Some of these cards that you wouldn't expect to be uh, that great would be pretty good for a battle against. Crossroads of Chaos. Battle Tune, Silent Strider, and Lightwave Tuning. Like that Mecha Bunny card we were talking about would definitely be interesting. It's definitely... I don't know how... Which set's going to have the better cards here, but it's going to be fun for sure. Sword of Kusanagi. For those spirits. Ghost Gardener. Space Gate. Telekinetic Shocker. The Tricky. This guy's always fun in um, sealed play. <laughs> Discard a card to special summon from your hand. So yeah, he'll definitely be good. Gear Town again, Twin Headed Defender. Twin Shield Defender. Psychic Snail for the four star 1900. Domino Effect. So there you go, Psychic Snail would definitely be pretty strong. Come on, you guys believe in the heart of the cards. We have one Ultra Rare. Uh, Synchro Deflector, Noisy Gnat. You can send this card from your hand to the grave to increase the level of one monster in the field by one. Sword of Kusanagi. Ghost Garden. A Trap of Darkness. By paying 1,000 life points and you have 3,000 or less, select a normal trap card in your grave. It becomes the same effect. Kind of similar to Grave Robber, but your own grave. Uh, twin Headed Defender. Psychic Snail again. Dang, go no go. Awesome. All right, about halfway through the right side, you guys. Duelist Genesis. Telekinetic Shocker. Mind Protector. That is a three-star 2200, you guys. So, cards control must pay 500 life points during each of their standby phases. They cannot destroy this card. Syn Synchro Deflector. Noisy Nats. The Selection. Uh, this card is actually pretty interesting. Pay 1,000 to get the summon of a monster that has the same type as a monster on the field and destroy it. So that could be interesting. Ghost Garden, Noisy Gnat. Is that a double Noisy Gnat? What is going on? Sword of Kusanagi and Judgment of Thunder. Give a Thunder type, destroy one card your opponent controls. Not bad. Okay. I think we need to take a whiff of this pack. Maybe it'll increase our epicness. Here we go. Mind Protector again. Recycling Batteries. Telekinetic Shocker. That's a 4 star 1700. Mind Protector. Cold Enchanter. You can discard one card to place an Ice Counter on one face up monster. This card gains 3 attack for each Ice Counter on the field. One place one Ice Counter on one face up monster. Yeah. Wow. That's actually pretty good. Interesting. Judgment of Thunder. Gear Town. Where's the Thunder cards? The 
than that. Mind Protector again. Nice. Big piece golem. That would be pretty cool if we could get the, uh, the golem pieces. Unstable Evolution. The opponent's monster controls and you control the monsters. You can normal summon this without tribute. And that's actually the good one. Big piece golem. Unstable Evolution. While your life points are lower than your opponent's, the equipped monster's original attack becomes 2400. While your life points are higher the, than your opponent's, its original attack becomes 1000. So this card works well, actually it would work really well for a booster box battle because you can, if your life points are lower, you can pump your own monster for a battle and then hopefully it stays 2400 for a while, but also you could use it on your opponent's monster and make them at 1000, so. Unstable Evolution, Psy Station, and Silent Strider, and the Space Gate. Five Ds, man, it's been a while. Five Ds booster box battle, you guys. There's another Mecha Bunny, finally. Equip Shot. Noisy Nat. Judgment of Thunder. Desynchro. That's definitely interesting. Select one face of Synchro Monster. Return it to its owner's extra deck. So, if Crossroads of Chaos, you know, made Black Rose, you could actually desynchro it. Um, if you. Yeah. I don't know if that'd be a good idea, but it could be if you don't can't get over the 2400. Then, if all the monsters that were used for the Synchro Summon are in the grave, you can special summon them. You can special summon them. So wait, you can use this? Is it on your select one face? Return it to its owner's extra deck. Then if all the monsters that were used for Synchro Summon are in your grave, you can special summon them. Interesting. So you can just send your opponent's dude back, though. And they, they don't get their monsters. I actually don't know how that works, but that's how we'll probably end up playing it. That'd be, that'd be crazy. So basically, kill a Synchro. Kill your opponent's Synchro. Silence, Strider, Space Gate, Ghost, Garna. I guess that's how it works. All right, three more packs. Heart of the Cards guide us. Yugi Boy, Recycling Batteries, Quill Bolt, Hedgehog. First one of those. If you control a face-up tuner, you can special summon this card from the grave. If this card was summoned this way, removed from play when it's removed from the field. Super combos there with, uh, what is it? The Iron Fortress, Iron Wall. The one that says you can't remove cards, so you can kind of infinite combo this guy. Once they change that. Telepathic power. The quest is back. 1600. Grand Lake Beast. Mind over matter. Power filter. Uh, mind over matter is actually pretty good. Tribute to psychic monster to get the activation spell or trap. Or the normal or special summon of a monster to destroy it. So especially for a booster box battle, you guys, that could be very good. Because we're playing those different psychic monsters. Wow. And power filter is not bad. Neither player can special summon monsters with 1000 or less attack. It's actually a side deck card against certain decks. And double Quillbolt Hedgehog, okay. Ghost Garna Synchro Deflector. Okay, let's sleeve up the power filter. Two packs left. We got three supers and an ultra, hopefully on the next side. Or maybe this side we could pull an ultimate and then maybe just maybe a secret or ghost on the left. Nice, another psychic nail snail. Judgment of Thunder. Oh, Herald of Orange Light, not a bad card. Uh, you can send this card and one other fairy type monster from your hand to the grave to negate the activation of an effect of an effect monster and destroy it. It can be activated during either player's turn. Once again, pretty good card. Recycling Batteries, another double Quillbolt Hedgehog pack. Ghost Garna, Synchro Deflector. Last pack of Destiny. Give it to us! Kaiba! Here we go. Nice. Another Mecha Bunny. I love it. Domino Effect, Psychic Snail, Judgment of Thunder. Ooh, uh, Izanami. She's a decent spirit monster. Uh, cannot be special summoned. Returns to the hand during its owner's end phase. During the end phase, this turn was normal or flipped face up. When this card is normal summoned or flipped face up, you can discard one card to add one spirit monster from your graveyard to your hand. So it's good in a spirit deck. Maybe not so useful for the booster box battle. Kanoichi, 4 star 1800, Telepathic Power. Quest and recycling batteries. Wow. I'm actually pretty excited for this. There's a lot of strong monsters in here. I don't know if uh, Crossroads of Chaos is going to be able to compete. So hopefully you guys in our next part will be able to pull the Stardust Dragon. And uh, and yeah, maybe just maybe an ultimate and a ghost for ultimate and a secret. That would be pretty nice. So stay for, tuned for that, you guys. And thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. And please, you guys, give me some feedback 
on uh, what you think about in the beginning of this video with our updates in the comments below. And simply, oh, luckier, signing out.